everybody, welcome to a bonus video on the Manalik. I'm John, as always, and we are going to play some Gladiator, although I did want to show you something first about the deck that we're playing and how to actually access these decks. Gladiator is around all weekend, the 11th through the 14th. It is a 100-card singleton format. It has literally nothing to do with Commander. It is totally normal Magic the Gathering, except it's 100-card singleton decks, every single card on Arena, uh, alchemy, yes. Rebalance, no. There are five banned cards. If you go down to the bottom of your deck list, there's a Community Spotlight Gladiator folder. So if you just want to grab some decks, you can craft these. Uh, there's a great Discord community that you can check out. But we're going to be playing Bells and Lock Combo by Joker Boney, also known as Cowtech. Because there is a fancy way to win the game in your discard step with... Uh, Powerful all-star card bartered cow. We'll see if we can do it. I think I'll do probably a few matches with this deck, and that'll be the video, so it'll be a little bit quicker than usual. Um, and I plan to do a few of these Gladiator videos today, tomorrow, maybe Saturday, just to get some Gladiator content out there. So nothing in our deck is below four mana, so we're kind of looking to ramp as quickly as possible and not much of this really helps us ramp so i actually don't know about keeping this hand i think we might mulligan and i guess we'll go with that scared of liliana so the plan here is you know oops win the game before anything happens Otherwise, we're going to draw our entire deck with Demon Lord Belsenlock. We're going to have a way of not dying to him dealing damage to us. Uh, Soren, for example, will make Belsenlock have lifelink. So we won't actually lose life, we'll gain life. And then we're going to have Jace Architect of Thought, who is going to allow us to draw a card from an empty library and win the game. Uh, there are traditional ways of getting that job done such as playing Jace for one blue 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 and then playing Demon Lord Bells and Lock and playing Soren. There are ways of reanimating which is where you get really tricky and then there's the way of uh, Bells and Locking, not dying, everything's in your hand, almost everything goes to your graveyard. Discarding Bartered Cow gives you a trigger in your discard step which will allow you to respond, instantly reanimating Scholar of the Lost Troves, casting Eerie Ultimatum, putting everything onto the battlefield, uh, most importantly, Jace, and something that draws a card from your now empty deck. It's a little bit wacky. We'll see if we can pull it off. Uh, it is me, of course, so... maybe we'll just have land issues. Baleful Mastery is one in a black. How does this work again? You may pay one in a black rather than pay its cost. If one in a black was paid, an opponent draws a card. Right. Um, but we appear to be pay, playing some sort of death and taxes deck. Um, so we can't even evoke this, can we? What is this, Thalia? Oh, non-creature spells. Got it. So we'll evoke, see if we can find a land. Of course we can't. <laughs> oh, it is me. So land issues will be prevalent. Uh, I've not actually done this deck against a real-life human being yet. I just did it on Sparky to make sure I had a, a grasp of the rough idea. Uh, upcoming deck videos will be a Thoracle deck, Thassa's Oracle Tainted Pack combo. I'll do a Mono Red, because Mono Red's my jam. Uh, I've got a Sacrifice Rakdos deck, which will be pretty cool. But yeah, check this out. It's on Arena, 11th through 14th, and it's a fantastic format. It's the only constructed format I like. Uh, it's powerful. There's no weird commander BS going on. There's no arguments about you shouldn't play this card because it's too powerful. Uh, you just play powerful magic. So we could play this to like maybe kill Thalia, which gets rid of the tax, which means Day of Judgment's back online. <clears throat> what is this? Ornithopter of Paradise. Okay, so it's a Birds of Paradise. That's an O2 instead of an O1. It costs two mana instead of one. Now, as much as I know how the combo works, I'm a little bit less clear on how 
uh, getting to the combo works, how do you stay alive? But surely it didn't involve missing a land drop or two and mulling to six at the start. We'll take one from the Thraben Inspector. Do you want them to overextend a little bit so that we can day of judgment them? But if we draw an on tap land, we've got Scarab God and Underrealm Lich. Which will be handy. Parallel lives. Maybe this isn't death and taxes? What would Soren become? Soren would become five. Let's get Soren down so that we can actually play something, give them something to think about and target. Hmm. Now, Soren is one of the ways that we don't die to Bells and Lock, so we would prefer him to stay alive. There are other ways that prevent damage or change damage. There's the Mythic Angel that turns damage into mill, and you don't care about milling your empty deck. Okay, if we can get, like, Scarab God online... Maybe we're just winning in a much more traditional way. <clears throat> we could Golos next turn for a tree, which would give us just all of our colors. And then put us a land off of activating Golos. <clears throat> The parallel lives suggest to me that they're tokening. But what are they tokening? Soul Warden, okay. Make a whole bunch of tokens. Now let me, I, I've not played with parallel lives in probably 10 years. Um, double the number of tokens that are made. So obviously Soul Warden with creature tokens doubling, you're going to gain a ludicrous amount of life. Luckily, our deck, you know, if we can get the combo, doesn't really care about our opponent's life total. They are gonna land for turn, paying for it, because of course they're gonna gain a whole bunch of life before too long. They are gonna try to get Soren down just a little bit. It's going up by two, so taking one's not too big of a deal. There's Jace, so there's another very important part of the plan. Uh, let's Soren again. <clears throat> And let's get a Golos down, maybe, to, you know, try to get the extension into Day of Judgment. So they gain a life. Good for them. And I'm going to read the tree. I think the tree says if you have six lands, all of your lands produce all colors. I think. Not that tree. This tree. As long as you control six or more lands. Yeah, so we go like that. All of our lands produce all of the colors. <clears throat> so we just need Jace and Bells and Lock. Well, we have Jace. We just need Jace down and we need Bells and Lock as well. Okay. So they made eight tokens, gained eight life. Uh, they will be killing Soren, which is bad. We're going to need to find another way to survive Bells and Lock. But we have Day of Judgment to clean this up. Make things a little bit more tidy. Hmm. Now these are best of three matches with large decks with a lot of cards. Um, so I could see them taking a little bit of time as people read cards and figure out what plays to make and stuff like that. Uh, but the reason that I like this constructed format is that uh, it probably feels sort of like Cube, which people love. But the thing that I hate about cube is having to do the draft portion because the draft portion feels like deck building. 
it doesn't feel like draft and I, I hate deck building. This is not a deck that I built. This was from the Gladiator folder. I never, ever build constructed decks. I hate it with a passion. Um, so this gets me the cube gameplay without having to go through the deck build portion. In addition, with 100 singleton cards, game two of this match will feel different than game one. Game three will feel different. Than game one and game two you get different games even within the same match and it just feels really nice so golos is dead that's fine goodbye soren we'll day of judgment and we'll hope that these two cards left in hand aren't terribly exciting and the rest at me <clears throat> so we're gonna take three go to 14 we're going to blow up the world. And then we're going to have to find Bells and Lock and a way to survive. But again, if they just don't have much in these two remaining cards, we may just be super stable. So let's blow up the world. Boop. Pass the turn. Oh, you got two mana? What are you? This card, tap up to one non and permanent, draw a card. Then you may exile. Nope. When you discard, conjure a card named Kaleem. Okay, so this will just let me draw a card at the end of the turn. That'll be nice. Okay, so Torrens, Ambitious Farmhand, two of them. Uh-huh. Go get a Plains. Uh-huh. Okay, I wonder if there's any other Wraths in this deck. Well, let's get to digging. So tap horns, I guess. I guess we should tap to land. Interesting. This was one of my big concerns about this queue. It's free, which I think means we're going to get concessions left and right as opposed to actually getting good gameplay. Because I don't understand why our opponent conceded there. All I was doing was tapping a creature. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? We got um, a Settle, which I like, which we will be able to cast with a fourth land. We've got a Behold. Yeah, I'll keep this. We've got lands, we've got stuff. Or maybe they were just like, I'm at 36 and I've got a bunch of stuff. I win. Could be that. Could be that. I would have actually preferred if this queue had an extraordinarily nominal fee of like a hundred gold. So that way you had something invested. Basically nothing. Like one fifth of a quest. One fifth of a quest. Because that would have kept out people who were just like, ah, I didn't draw a second land conceit. Or even worse, there's re rewards on the line. And by rewards, I mean like two card, um, random card rewards, which means you'll get people who are like, join the queue, concede, join the queue, concede, join the queue, concede, because they're being nice and giving other people wins. And that's not nice because people want to play magic. Okay, Luminarch Aspirant. That's going to be a slight problem. So we're going to want this settle online as much as possible we're not casting anything so let's just pop that in tapped uh i guess we could have foretold that eh yeah we should have foretold that i forgot about i forgot foretell was a mechanic that's how long it's been the primer said that this deck was all about ramping in the beginning but i haven't really seen ramping all right we might actually have to settle this next turn We'll see, especially with them drawing cards. Doom Scar. That's pretty cute. That makes me much more happy to settle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Settle the wreckage. 
Let's get rid of those two frightening things. And then how do we start? Get going at the beginning of your end step. Choose a card type. Reveal the top two cards. All of them. Right. Uh, we'll probably go with a Viv and just get Beasts down. See if Beasts can get going. All right, so those are exiled. They'll get their two basic lands. Which might encourage them to overextend some more. Then we can Doom Scar. How does Fertel work again? You pay the Fertel cost to put it away. No, you pay two to put it away and then you pay the Fertel cost. I remember how a mechanic from not that long ago worked. They didn't play anything. Interesting. Let's Vivian then. And let's make a beast. Let's give it vigilance. What's her minus two? Next creature spell, search your library. Right. What you got? Path to exile? No. Is that on arena? I assume that's on arena. So why did they play nothing last turn? Divine Visitation. Uh-huh. Cute. Cute. You are not a Vivian that blows stuff up, unfortunately, eh? Uh, well, we will drop a fountain. And then I guess we could Al run into a four drop. Where do the other cards go? Shuffled. Well, let's get in for three. And then let's minus two. Let's play an Al run. <clears throat> so he'll be a four four. And we're going to go and get a four drop. Of which I assume we have four drops. Oh, I just get to search. Well, that's nifty. Well, in that case, I'm taking Shalai. Hexproof on things sounds good. All right. So there's a whole bunch of beef on the table. So this is tokens are four fours, right? Yeah. Or instead of the token, you get a different token, which is a four four flyer. Are they Sarah Angels? They're Sarah Angels flying in vigilance. They're gonna Veil of Summer, draw a card, sure. Your stuff has pro blue black. They're going to Swords Mashalai. Smart. Uh, I'm going to pick... What am I looking for? Oh, I know what's on top. Godcat's on top, so I'll name Creature and draw at least that. Now there's a Gravebreaker, Gravebreaker Lamia on top. <clears throat> so it looks like we're just going to win the natural way here, which is, of course, our opponent blowing up. I have no idea what they had in hand. Maybe they were just utterly flooded. But hey, we got a win. We're one to know. I don't know that we should have had that first win, but oh well. Get my money, get my card. Let's play again. Like I said, let's do a few matches. See if we can get these videos to be like 35 minutes. Nice quick ones. That means that I could do a couple today and a couple tomorrow. Uh, I'll be streaming very shortly later today because I want to stream this as well. Um, what on earth are you? You're a 2-3 for 4. Cost 2 less to cast if there's no ha uh, land cards in hand. Uh, do I have green green? I don't have green green. Uh, when an ETB is search a library for basic land. Cool. Gargaroth, Packmate. Yeah, we can keep this. Let's play one of our greens. Then I think we want to go untapped land for tell Packmate. They got a Lotus Cobra. So here's the one of the instant speed reanimation spells that can do the cow tech. <clears throat> They're going to two me, sure. Landfall, Lotus Trigger, 
four mana, what you got? Old Growth Troll. Okay, well then. Smells like a bit of trouble. Let's see if we can find a Wrath to keep us in this a bit. So we'll just commit again. Target spell second from the top, right. Right, right, instant, instant. And troll is what? If it dies, if it was a creature, right, it comes back connected to something, which is right. It's a good card. Um, well, 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 well. I guess we'll be committing the troll. Eh, I can take four one more time. Let's get some more lands going. Uh, let's jam in. Uh, I don't think it really matters. We have access to all colors, right? Blue, black, green. Yeah, we have access to all colors. Let's go with the green. Then we can Elder Gargaroth, <clears throat> which will help us establish the board a bit. We could also Lily. Will Lily do anything for us? Make two zombies a mill? Not really. They're going to make a 1-1 one, one sure thing. Hostage taker, eh? What if I stole that old growth troll? Gimme. Thank you. And then, boy, if this entered untapped, we could actually cast it, eh? Also, if we hadn't played a land already, which apparently we had. You've got a 4-4 four, four token. Kadoma of the whatchamacallit. 3-3 three, three reach. Modified creatures have trample. Okay. Whenever a modified creature you control deals combat damage to player, search your library, ramp. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. We can take four. You can get your land. <clears throat> We're going to go to three. But then we can Gargaroth and go from there. All right, let's cycle, because a tapped land's not going to save me here. The Bartered Cow! Um, boy, if we weren't just dead, we're actually a little bit close to doing what we need to do. Um, let's get Gargaroth down, so we got ourselves a 6-6. Six, six. Let's no attack. <clears throat> Unfortunately, they've drawn a lot of cards, so I'm not sure if we'll get back into this one. Land for turn. Pretty good mono green stompy. Very plain and simple and not having any of my BS. Cemetery Prowler. So you're going to exile a card from my graveyard? That, that could actually hurt me. Uh, they took my pack mate. That's actually part of the cow tech plan. And then what is it whenever their their creatures are cheaper? They have their own Gargaroth. Well, alrighty then. Um, yeah, this looks like a variety of trouble. What's the alt on this? Right, make it gold. Nothing important. How do I live? Guess by making a troll. Certainly not by attacking. Oof, I have to block with everything. If they have the removal, I'm toast. They're cleaving with dig up, so they're just going to go get a card. So if they find removal, I'm toast. They had no time for my shenanigans. I need to figure out how to make this deck go faster. I'm sure I'm not playing it. Anyway, expertly. All right. You got to pick whatever card you wanted. And you didn't choose removal. You decided to pass the turn. 
You're giving me time. I don't know that I recommend that. Um, so we can commit Cura, which will leave us with four mana, which means we could bartered cow, I guess. Oh, no, I just flat out miscounted my mana. Cool. 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 Well, let's go back in, try that again. See what we can do. We are going to play first. <clears throat> Three lands. Uh, can't play or can't play anything. I think we mull that. Uh, I guess we can go with this. Uh, unburial rights can go away. Don't get to foretell, unfortunately. <clears throat> Weaver of Harmony, 2-2, two, two, other enchantment creatures, plus one, plus one. They can copy triggered abilities, sure thing. Um, let's get this in, because this will come in untapped. Let's foretell. And then we're going to Shattered Sanctum and probably Yasharn, just to go a little bit further. So what's the mythos? If we pay everything, uh, we get to return two permanent cards from your graveyard to your hand. But if we pay, if we pay everything, I hate reading these cards. We search our library for a card and we put it into the graveyard and then shuffle. And then we return two to our hand. Right, so we get to go and find what we want. They played Ranger class? Yeah, they've got no time for my BS. Um, so attacking creatures are going to get plus one, plus one, eh? That's not bueno. Well, let's play Yasharn. Go and search our library. For plains and a forest. <clears throat> I would like to do the combo at least once in this video, but we'll see if we can actually pull that off or not. It could be that I'm just not good enough at the deck. But I'm not quite seeing enough time to get that going. Okay, so they're gonna... Huh? Did you try to copy the pay trigger? I don't think that works the way you think it does. And then you're attacking a 3-3 three, three into my 4-4? Four, four? Cool! We'll take it. We figured out how to buy ourselves some time. Um, let's... Oh, they copied the wrong trigger. They copied the pay trigger. They wanted to copy the double trigger, I think, or the, the, the whenever you attack trigger. Um, that says to me that I have a slight bit of time. So let's play a pack mate, draw a card. And then we've got Baleful Mastery up if we want to try to kill something, if they try to do that again. <clears throat> Although now we also just have a double block. All right, so you attack. Now you could do it. I don't entirely know that I would recommend it, but you could. Okay, so now it should get two counters. There we go. And we'll just jump. Well, not jump, we'll trade. And the sound bug is back. Imagine if the Magic Arena team could actually fix that. That would be nifty. Um, yeah, we don't need to kill the Weaver that badly. Let's play a land. Um, let's go Keys to the Archive, get some more mana going. We also get to draft a card, which importantly, as I discovered in a bot match, you don't want to get one that's less than four and then shuffle it back in. That's a bad idea. Uh, well, we're not being super threatened, so I'm tempted by approach. Oh, I don't have, uh, I will have seven mana. Yeah, I'm tempted by approach. Day of Judgment's probably better. 
I'm, 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 I'm too tempted by approach. Not going to lie. Uh, discard a card. We will discard Essica's chair. Well, we'll discard Eerie Ultimatum. <clears throat> if we need it, the graveyard is the place where it needs to be. Wildborn Preserver. It's a 2-2. Two -two. They're going to pay two. Is that not how it works? Oh, no. Other non-human creatures you can add attacks to to make them real swole. Alvinwald Oddity. I'm gonna pay two. We're gonna make that die. I'm gonna pay one. Interesting. Because they want to pay the trigger here, sure. And then we can trade Packmate for Preserver. Nope, they're not biting. <clears throat> okay, so they're gonna copy that. Which is fine because we'll Baleful Mastery the old oddity. All right, let's Baleful Mastery it. They're going to get to draw a card. Good for them. <clears throat> God, I hate that sound book so freaking much. Uh, well, we've got the Angel. Which can just kind of wreck things a little bit. But let's approach. This, yeah, the sound is just entirely gone now. There is literally no sound. People have been complaining about this for at least two months now. Primal Adversary 4-3. They're going to be able to get counters on Adversary and that many lands become wolves. Right. Right, right, right. <clears throat> Boy, maybe I'll have to take this deck into a Bob match. Just goldfish to show you the combo. All right, they're going to make one three three. Sure thing. It's so silent. Hey, a brief sound. All right, we'll take eight. Um, Do we want a myth at all? Not really. I mean, I guess we could myth. No, it's return two permanent cards. Um, not much has trample, so we could Essica. I don't know that playing the angel is going to keep us alive. Let's play the angel. Let's find out. I just, I, I, I want, I want sound, please. Fight rigging, huh? It's just so utterly silent. So I don't think we're going to win this one unless we can find a board wipe in like our next card. So maybe what we do is we let them hit us and see if maybe something will go in the graveyard that could be handy. All right, so counter on that. When does it fight? Control, does it ever fight? It's a counter on something every turn. And then if something's real big, you can play the hideaway card which they doubled, so they have two hideaway cards, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll take a whole bunch. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We'll mill 30 cards. All right, so we'll mill 30. Anything we can cast? Nothing? I guess we can always Mythos back something, eh? Mythos, no, it has to be a permanent. 
We could Mythos back Soren, which is a very important part. And we could Mythos back something. <clears throat> My turn. What do we got? We got a time warp. So let's mythos back Soren. Oh, actually, we could go and grab Bells and Lock as well. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. So let's pay the blue black to mythos to pitch Bells and Lock. And then let's bring back Bells and Lock and Soren. So now we don't die to casting Bells bells and lock but we need to take an extra turn let's time warp to see if this will help us out at all uh, we get an attack for five six seven eight <clears throat> mm. our turn again we draw a doom scar cool doom scar Nuke the board. Let's drop a Soren. And let's continue. Um, so part of the issue is I think my instant speed reanimations have gone away. Is Graveshift gone? Graveshift is not gone. Graveshift is not gone. Grave shift is not gone. So we cast Bells and Lock. We draw our deck. But no, then we die. One, two, three, four, five, six. I would six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I have five mana. Grave shift is five mana. Is Seraph's Packmate in here? Or is it exiled? Seraph's Packmate is there. So I think we can do this. But let's find out. So let's Demon Lord Bells and Lock. We'll draw our deck. <clears throat> this needs to go in the graveyard. Oh, actually, Jace is in the graveyard. We just play Jace and win, right? We have two blue. Yeah, we just play Jace and win. Never mind. <laughs> we don't have to do the cow, te the cow tech plan. All right, where's Jace? Jace, 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 where are you? Where are you? There you are. We're going to play you. We did the combo. Doop do doop do 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 doop do doop do doop do do doop do doop do do doop do doop do 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 doop doop do doop do do doop do doop do doop do do doop doop do goodbye to one of our timeouts goodbye to one of our timeouts arena is not a good program to play magic the gathering it's pretty bad all right so then we play jace i don't have blue 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 Okay, so we do have to do the cow tech plan. Uh, so we go plus one. And then in our discard phase. Oh, oh, I miscounted. I only have four mana. I only have four mana. Why did I think I had five? Why did I think I had five? I'm pretty sure I need five to bring back. Also, do I not even have grave shift? I might just not have Grave Shift. Yeah, I just don't have Grave Shift. Gross. Oh, okay. Ran out of timeouts, I guess. So there's the triggers that we could respond to if we had grave shift and five mana and if our scholar went into the graveyard but it did not so kalim is back on top of the deck so if i had kept stuff that would let me 
pull back what I needed. Clearly, I'm not an expert at this deck. Clearly, I am not an expert at this deck. Maybe we can just win in a different way somehow. Also, there's literally no sound and I can't handle it. There's literally no sound and it's not okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to cast out Gallagreeters, I guess. Okay, so we're going to plus one Sauron. Oh, return target creature card from your value X from your graveyard to the battlefield. That creature is a vampire in addition to its other types. Okay. Actually, no, we could just go Scholar and then we can go Eerie Ultimatum. It all worked exactly as I planned. And then we bring back Jace. And then we draw. Woof! <laughs> we did it flawlessly with no problem. Now we have to do it again. Now we have to do it again. Oh my God, there's no sound. I'm going to write a really angry tweet after this. Like really angry tweet. I'm going to burn some bridges with arena. <laughs> there's no bridges left. Uh, two mana is not great, but that would let us play this if we whiff on drawing more lands. So let's keep it. God, there's just no sound. You just slowly lose sound. You start getting less and less and less sounds until there is nothing. Okay, well, we're not whiffing on lands, which was somewhat part of the plan. Uh, what do you do for me? You let me grab something or bounce something? Cool. And they've gone land, 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 nothing other than their one drop? Interesting. We'll take two. That's fine. I might bounce whatever you play here. Forced Cultivator. That's kind of gross. And they have no lands in hand because they played it for two mana. Uh, let's bounce the pack leader, I guess. I just want to buy time. Just want to buy time. Um, so we can also cultivate her. Continue ramping here. Plus have a blocker for the turn. <clears throat> what does this god Kefnet do? I can reveal the first card I draw. If it's an instant or sorcery, I can copy that card. Whenever you reveal an instant or sorcery, copy that card and you can cast the copy. And it costs two less. Right. Right, right, right. Easy block. Good jump check. Good jump check. Pack leader back down with a counter. Uh-huh. Elder Gargaroth. Uh-huh. So you're saying, hey, Bells and Log, you're saying what I need is to draft a Day of Judgment from this. Thank you. Uh, and we'll discard Chariot. Play this. No attacks. We'll take a big hit. We'll reset the board. We'll keep going from there. I will stop four of it. So we take eight. If I block here, we would take nine. So let's take eight. You're going to do an additional seven to me? You're going to ninjutsu and a spring leaf avenger. Okay. Down to two. Play your cultivator. Nuke the board. And then I would like to play Kefnet, please. And thank you. <clears throat> right, he's a god eternal, so he's just stupid. Old growth troll, uh-huh. Harmonize, pretty good. Refill that hand. Uh, will not reveal Muldrifter. 
So can I final parting to win here? Not to win, but to like try to get closer. I would have three mana left. That's not allowing me to cast anything in my deck. Could bring back an Eska's Chariot. Doesn't help with the trample too much. Uh, let's play a Mully. I did not want to evoke that. Oh, no, I, did. I didn't evoke that. Good. Uh, yeah, let's kill an old growth troll, shall we? Okay. Oh, okay. We're in the game. We're in the game. Take four. I really desperate. What if I turn it up really loud? No, there's just literally no sound. None whatsoever. Okay, we need a Sorin at the beginning of your combat. Each combat, double the power and toughness of each creature you control. Sure. Okay, we got a Lily, uh, which lets me return target creature card from your graveyard to battlefield. Um, get a big-ass turtle. <clears throat> How's a big-ass turtle sound? Big-ass turtle. Uh, let's jam on in for six, drop him to ten. Oh, Wildborn Preserver. Let's jam in for four. <clears throat> We're back to having to be a little bit careful. <clears throat> no trample, at least. No trample. Vastwood Surge, that's going to be a whole bunch of counters, but doesn't give Trample. So sure, you've got an 8-8. Eight eight. Okay. You die if you attack me. Or you almost die. Uh, let's block with Matutu. I could have double blocked and killed it, but I will not reveal Jace. Let's make a Zambi. Mill a couple of mediocre cards. Um, let's smush on in for six to drop them to six. Because I'm not playing a creature. And I want to make sure we have the blocks on the back end. Um, so final parting would leave me with four. Um, there's got to be something that'll work for four. Um, how much is Doomscar? Doomscar is five, isn't it? Yeah. Four. Four, 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 four. You're five. Are these in order? These are in order. So let me get down to the fours. Oh, we've got another Day of Judgment. Did I keep up white, white? Of course it didn't keep up white, white for me. Um, so Settle doesn't help. Cast out. We'll take a cast out into our hand and into our graveyard we'll go an unburial rights. Uh, put a card into your hand, this one. And then let's cast out the preserver. Pass the turn. <clears throat> hey, we did it. We did it. We did it with the combo, and we did it without the combo. So that is Cowtech. We didn't get to do the Cowtech part of the por portion of it, uh, which was basically... We did... To, to do the Cowtech, you just do it in your discard step, whereas we tried to do it in our discard step and didn't quite have the mana. Um, but otherwise, we would have been there. So that's Bells and Lock combo. It's in your Gladiator folder. It's super cool deck by uh, Joker Boney. I definitely recommend checking it out. And check out Gladiator. I'm going to do more Gladiator videos. I'm going to go stream Gladiator in just a little bit uh, and probably stream it tomorrow as well. It's my favorite slash only constructed format I play. Check it out. Uh, as always, like, share, subscribe, all those good things. Find me on Twitch, and I'll see you all next time.